Well, it's Mother's Day weekend and I'm failing pretty hard at being a flower farmer. Like, oh God, it's fine. I'm not prepared for this. I'm doing it, guys. I'm doing it. This is my second year for Mother's Day. Last year, I didn't have my florist permit, so I wasn't allowed to sell flowers legally. It's legal to sell flowers in the state of Louisiana without a license. So I'm selling black market flowers? And this year, I was going to have sunflowers. I was going to have tons of sunflowers and, well, these are the sunflowers that uh, were supposed to be ready for Mother's Day. And, um, yeah, they're very short and um, they have buds on them this short. I knew <laughs> that putting them out before it got really warm that they wouldn't grow much but i thought that meant like mature as well i didn't think they would bloom this short <laughs> oh my god they have blooms they're blooming i'm not prepared for this because it's not just these it's all of these as well these have buds on them and i'm i'm freaking out this was not part of the plan. So I think I may have just messed myself up really, really bad. This is gonna push me back months with sunflowers. Now, Jesse, don't you have other flowers that you can sell for Mother's Day? Yes, yes I do. Matter of fact, why don't we take a quick look around and see what all I can harvest this morning. Look at this yarrow, guys. So this is enough stems for maybe one or two bouquets. I've got 20 stems here, 20 stems. So this maybe could actually go for about five bouquets. I like to put in about two to four little bunches of yarrow in each bouquet. I'm, I'm loving this. This is the summer berries mix and then some of the Colorado and pastel mix. And, my goodness, it is gorgeous. My first ever Rubecchia flower that I get to harvest. I may not have sunflowers, but I'll have a Rubecchia. I am going to finish harvesting later. I've got to run to the farmer's market first because they have the most amazing chocolate chip cookies I want to pick up for my mom and they sell it fast. They opened like 10 minutes ago, so I got to go like right now. Now, Faye, I take you with me. <music> My farmer's market is so full already that I had to park at our fire station and walk down here. But that's a good sign. That means, you know, everybody's coming out to enjoy the farmer's market. These are the best cookies ever. <laughs> and I have to you? get some for my mother <laughs> and for me. I love your cookies. Thank you. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna get a bag All right. of the chocolate chip. 15, please. Cookies are secured. Let's take a look at the flowers that are over here. Well, let's see. We've got a new vendor here with some beautiful glass. I think I'm gonna get something for mom. Okay, gift for mom is secured. And I got our cookies. So now let's head to O'Neill's Farm and Garden. I may do my best not to buy a plant. I may buy a plant or two. And maybe some pots. I mainly need compost. Being in here and seeing all these flowers really makes me want to redo my porch of death. 
They have so many cute hanging baskets. Oh, that's what's behind me is the hanging baskets. Oh, look at this. That is gorgeous. Though, if I buy that and I put it on my porch, it would be dead within about two weeks. Not their fault, my fault. All my grow light shelves are empty except for one overcrowded tray of snapdragons. So let's get some seeds started. But before I can actually start on the seeds, I do have a confession for you. I am the worst at storing and cleaning my plug trays. What you should do is you should always wash them with bleach and store them dry out of the sun once you're done with them. However, for me, I, uh, I tend to leave them out where I got the plugs out out in the field <laughs> getting rained on and destroyed by the sun don't be like me wash your trays with bleach and store them out of the sun more natural of seeing oh this would be break time time to eat a snack it's only 120 guys I, I feel like it should be later I guess it's because I've just been going and going you know you just you wear out and you gotta replenish you don't want to pass out out there there you go I got stuff everywhere oh I have a bill right here I should probably pay that when I'm inside and I'm not out there working and sweating I'm here with my living on a prayer flower farm book going through and trying to remember everything that's happened I can't believe we're in May already and I need to plant sunflowers I need to get the irrigation going I've got so much stuff I gotta do premier light yellow should bloom the first week of May oh it's blooming Jesse it's blooming very short <sighs> it's gonna be okay we're going to be okay. This is only year two. We've got to work out some kinks. And you know, I was watching, I don't know if y'all know who Daryl Eves is. YouTube mastermind. He's the man's a genius. I was watching the live while I was doing seeds outside. And something he said just really hit me, which was, you don't have fails. You have learned a way of not to do that thing. He's completely right. I have learned how not to plant sunflowers. Do not plant sunflowers in March all right it's the next day I, I got distracted by farm chores that had to be done like setting up drip tape and irrigation but uh, let's continue on with our tour as I harvest for Mother's Day bouquet I have stock look at that I love the way stock smells this still isn't the big beautiful stock that I was dreaming of but that's partially my fault if you're going to overwinter these in the fall, you need to cover them with frost cloth. No doubt. Like the full, whole time, whole time, cover them with frost cloth. Because, you know, that same night I lost all my status, lost all my stock too. And that was just, that was my fault. And these were planted out in February, which is just, it's too late for me. We get too hot by this point. So... That's the price I pay. I've got some lockspur blooming as well, finally. Make a nice deep cut. I'm not sure if lockspur will keep coming back or not, but I'm going to keep cutting it down like it is. As I mean, worst case scenario, I don't get any stems after this. Best case scenario, it branches out and gives me more stems that I can use. All the lockspur are planted out in the daffodil field area, hoping for some wild, beautiful, long stalks of lockspur ended up getting eaten by the deer there is no lockspur out there i was so mad 
I was going to have these big, gorgeous stems for my sister-in-law to have some photo shoots at. But unfortunately, all I've got are the ones I planted for cut flowers that actually came up. You know, the ones the deer didn't eat. <laughs> oh, look how pretty that is. I'm loving it. I am loving it. I think I've got some bloomed over there too. So this is one little section of Loxborough. I've got another section over there. And my digelia is budding up that we direct sowed. Might as well harvest some sunflowers, why not? Almost forgot to tell you I also have status. <laughs> My one plant that made it through the winter and didn't die on me is blooming. I've got a few others that are blooming, but they're really short. So I just need to cut them down so that they'll produce more. But yeah. If you have short stems with status, don't worry. They will grow bigger. You just have to keep snipping them. Look at that. At this point, I'm having a lot of fun pinching everything back. So I think it's also time to pinch back my zinnias. So let's go ahead and take off their heads. A few of you asked how the lilies are doing and as you can see, they're getting nice and tall behind me and they've got buds all over them. Let's go inside and take a look at everything that we harvested this morning and put together a bouquet. Good morning. <laughs> so it's actually Monday at this point. I didn't take my flowers over to mom for Mother's Day yet, but uh, I want to show you just everything that we got. I mean, I've got a lot of different yarrows, some two sad looking sunflowers, the best Rebecca ever and oh, i just i love this stock but look at this just a bucket full of flowers and lock spurs and i love it i'm gonna do a nice little market wrap bouquet i hope you'll ignore the messy background because guys it's it's life i'd asked you all about you know channel ship emojis and what should i put and what if you put dirty laundry and a sink full of dishes and you're completely right because that that is my house another reason why there is a bug on this flower and now the bug is in my house because I flicked it oh god it's flying it's dead now ew that was my new webcam manual that's gross but the bug's dead anyway <laughs> distracted squirrel I want to start practicing putting together hand tied bouquets that are in the nice spiral motion and this this is going to help me with that I hope because I see people do it all the time and it looks so easy and I'm like I wish I could do that well we're gonna see if Jesse can do that I'm just gonna kind of put it together base here and now let's start spiraling. She was spiraling, spiraling. I've learned to be okay with the fact I'm going to make mistakes. And it's just gonna have to be the way it is. Because that's his life, darling. And it's actually turning out really well. I'm doing it, guys. I'm doing it. <laughs> Talk about how pretty this is. Oh, no, no. Keep spiraling, Jesse. Look at it. I can't 
can't even get my hand around it. It's <laughs> so big. Oh my god. I did it! I did it! I made a hand dyed bouquet and it's pretty! It is so full! Oh my gosh! I feel like y'all know it's coming, right? I feel like a professional. I feel so professional! I hope she likes it. Alright, I'm gonna put this in a vase. I'm gonna run to work and then I will grab you and bring you with me to my parents and you can see her reaction when she gets it. I cannot. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, I can see her in the door. She's waiting on. No. What do you mean, no? I gotta get your reaction. Oh, wow. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? They put this in a potted plant. Like a fork. Yeah. That's basically what it is, a fork. Yes, sir. Okay. That's what it's going to do to water glass. Glad you like it. Thank you, Jesse. You're so sweet. Look. You like it? I do. They're so pretty. So pretty. 